My name is Lorna Christie and I am the Programme Manager for Further Education Work-Based Programmes in Agriculture at CAFRI. This presentation is to give you more detailed information on the Further Education Agriculture courses that we have on offer for school leavers aged 16 plus. CAFRI offers a range of courses, two full-time and two part-time, for those of you who wish to work in agriculture. Some general information which is relevant to all the courses. They are all awarded by City and Guilds. They all require students to have some level of practical experience before they start and they all contain some element of work experience. I am going to go through each of the courses giving details on entrance requirements, course content and assessment and I will start with the full-time courses. The Level 3 course the Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Agriculture. This is a three-year full-time programme delivered at Greenmount Campus. The entrance requirements are four GCSEs at grade C or above, including English, Maths and Science, or equivalent qualifications. Entry requirements will be enhanced if the course is oversubscribed, and by this we mean that if there are a large number of applicants, we may raise the entrance requirements. The Level 3 course is a mixture of skills, practical work and classwork. First and third year are spent at the college, with the middle year being the work placement element of the course. This must be completed on an approved farm, and this farm cannot be the home farm. In final year, students will go on a number of industry visits and also have the opportunity to attend a study tour. Assessment for this course is a combination of exams, practical assessments and assignments. Now we can move on to the Level 2 courses. We have three Level 2 courses available, one full-time and two part-time. First, the full-time. The Level 2 Technical Certificate in Agriculture. This is a one-year full-time programme and is delivered at Greenmount Campus. The entrance requirements are two C's or three D's, including English and Maths, and preference will be given to those applicants with English or Maths at grade C or above. The course content, the main principles are taught in the classroom, but the emphasis is on learning by doing and applying what is taught in the classroom on the farm through skills and practical work. Those students who have not attained a grade C in English or Maths will also have to complete essential skills. The work placement element of the Technical Certificate in Agriculture is one day's work placement each week. So students attend the college Monday to Thursday and Friday is spent on work placement and this placement can be on the home farm. At the end of Level 2 Technical Certificate, students can progress to the Level 3 full-time course or the Level 3 part-time. Assessment for the course is a mix of exams, practical assessments and assignments. courses. The first is the Level 2 Diploma in Work-Based Agriculture. This is a livestock-based course. It is a two-year part-time programme where students attend college one day per week, but they must also be employed for a minimum of three days per week on a farm. The courses are delivered at Greenmount and Enniskillen campus and at other out centres across Northern Ireland. The entrance requirements are two C's or three D's, including English and Maths, and preference will be given to those who have attained English and Maths at grade C or above. The course is a mix of practical and classroom-based learning, with students generally spending half the day in class and half the day doing practical skills on farm. Students who haven't achieved a grade C in English or Maths will have to attend college for a second day each week to do essential skills. At the end of the course, students can progress to the Level 3 full-time or the Level 3 part-time courses. For this course, the students must be employed in a farm and that farm can be the home farm if it is suitable. By this we mean that there has to be sufficient work to justify employing another member of staff. Whatever farm the student is employed on, it must have a health and safety inspection and we also need to see evidence of public and employer liability insurance. Assessment for this course is through practical and written assessments, 
which are built into a portfolio of evidence. The last course I'm going to cover is the Level 2 Multi-Skilling course. This course is where you study agriculture alongside a trade. So you apply for your trade, be it plumbing, bricklaying, welding, etc. at your local regional college. You do your work placement in your trade area and in the holidays you come to Greenmount campus on block release. So that's Halloween, Christmas, Easter, June and August. You study agriculture. The evidence requirements are two C's or three D's, including English and Maths. And again, preference will be given to those who have achieved a grade C or above in English or Maths. The main thing to do this course is that you're enrolled in a trade area, but also that you have a strong practical experience before starting the course. Assessment is through practical and written assessments, which are built into a portfolio of evidence. More information on all of the courses and a profile from students who have completed each of them can be found on the CAFRI website, www.cafri.ac.uk. If you wish to apply for any of the courses, you can do this on the CAFRI website. It is a two-stage process, so you need to register first, then apply. The closing date for applications is the 30th of June. If you have already applied or are wishing to apply and you have queries and concerns, please contact inquiries at caffrey.ac.uk or free phone 0800 028 4291 and we will do our best to answer them for you. I wish you all the best in your transition from school to further education and in the meantime, keep safe.